Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. This presentation is about simulation of a self-drive shuttle bus from Sir George Williams campus to Concordia Loyola campus and vice versa. My name is Mikhail Arani. I'm a former student in the field of automation and robotics at Concordia University. One of my research interests at my field is autonomous vehicles and robots, and I am doing research in this field in the last two years. This research is happening at Concordia Excellent Research Chair under the supervision of Professor Iker for the last four months. This presentation consists of six parts. Introduction, Ross Gazebo, a video from Ross and Gazebo, Carla, and some videos from Carla. What is the market value of self-drive cars? 5% of vehicles are autonomous in 2020. According to statistics from the Quebec Automobile Insurance Board, SAAQ, on the island of Montreal, there were 774,000 for the eight vehicles registered in 2017. With a simple mathematic, there are more than 38,702 autonomous cars just on the island of Montreal these days. And just in 10 years, the portion of the autonomous vehicles will be for the person. What impact will self-driving cars have on public health? The Barcelona Institute for Global Health, an institute supported by La Saixa, has taken part in a study that analyzed the portion risks and benefits of autonomous vehicles for public health. The conclusion of a study published in the Annual Review of Public Health indicate that this new type of mobility could benefit public health in the cars in the cars are electric and the model used in based on ride share forecasts indicate that in 2020 five percent of car sales will involve self-drive vehicles and this figure could rise to 40 percent by 2030 fully autonomous vehicles autonomous technology refers to technology that can drive a vehicle without the need for any active physical control or monitoring by a human driver car autonomy is classified on a six level scale starting at zero a vehicle with no autonomous in which the driver pre the driver performs all operating tasks and controls the driving the driving environment and going up to level 5 a fully autonomous completely automated vehicle today self driving cars study is becoming the main direction of automotive sorry automotive uh, companies bmw bosch google Baidu, Toyota, General Motors, Tesla and Ford and Uber and Volvo are investing in autonomous driving research. On the other hand, the rapid development of this field has promoted a large demand for autonomous cars in the market. It seems that it seems self-drive cars are inevitable for next generation cities. Why simulation? Each car has almost 10 cameras, sensors, and handful of lidars and radars and IMU wheel sensors, etc. Roughly one gigabyte per second of data coming in from all sensors. So testing on real cars inconvenient and expensive. I record sensors data as the fleet is driving and I want to use and reuse it for test simulations and development of algorithms. The idea is to spin up a bunch of cloud 
machines for large scale simulations of different scenarios. What is ROS? ROS provides tools and libraries for obtaining, building, writing, running code across multiple computers. Why ROS? ROS supports playing back recorded data from a bag, essentially replacing the driver nodes. The C++ and Python clients libraries can also listen to their recorded clock ticks, essential, essentially reproducing the original time stamps. Section 3 Gazebo What is Gazebo? Robot simulation is an essential tool in every roboticist's toolbox. A well-designed simulator makes it possible to rapidly test algorithms, design robots, perform regression testing, and train AI systems by using realistic sensors. At your fingertips is a robust physics engine, high-quality graphics, and convenient programmatic and graphical interface. Best of all, Gazebo is free with the vibrant community. Gazebo development began in the fall of 2002 at the University of Southern California. The original creator were Dr. Andrew Ward and his student Nate Kning. The concept of highly fidelity simulator stemmed from the need to simulate robots in outdoor environment under various conditions. As a complementary simulator to stage, the name Gazebo was chosen as the closest structure to an outdoor stage. The name has stuck despite the fact that the most users of Gazebo simulate indoor environments. The Gazebo is an open source 3D robot simulator. It was a component in the player project from 2004 to 2011. Gazebo integrated the ODE physics engine, OpenGL rendering, and support code from simulations and actuator control. A Gazebo simulation is a robot simulation made with Gazebo, a 3D simulator with the ability accurately and efficiently simulate proportion of population of robots in complex indoor and outdoor environment as you can see in the picture below generate sensors data optionally with noise from lidar 2d lidar 3d depth camera connect style sensors contact sensor force torque are the most important functional abilities of gazebo Section 4. ROS and Gazebo CD Video After finding a solution for simulation and navigation system of self-driving cars, which was simulation of a vehicle in a virtual environment using the ROS system and the Gazebo simulator, I tried to import satellite image of Google Maps cloud to Gazebo. Using satellite image of Google Map will help me to build simulation world of a gazebo by real city objects and streets. After providing these requirements, I created my own world file with these properties and run it in gazebo. I figured it out that I also need to install some extra libraries in Ubuntu. So I installed them one by one. But after all this work, Gazebo still had problem at loading this plugin. After several hours work on it and finally run this package, I still cannot get load images and build CD map. I tried some other data and asked about my problem in Gazebo community from, 
but for buying time, I decide to concentrate on running ROS navigation system. So I can run and simulate navigation system even on a simple world file in Gazebo. And after the error fixed, I can run navigation on desired CD map. Here is the CD that I am testing some codes, some scenarios, but after a while, I find it's not a final solution and it's not the best solution for simulation. And the next section is, is Carla, section five. Carla has been developed from the group of to support development, training and validation of autonomous vehicles and autonomous driving systems. In addition to open source code and protocol, Carla provides open digital assets, urban, urban layout buildings, vehicles that work that were created for this purpose and can be used freely. After searching about how can I use a real satellite map on self-driving cars simulation, I found that there is no online service that can automatically convert online maps, such as Google Maps or OpenStreetMaps to the 3D roads to the 3D roads map, which we can use these in the simulators. Koala, this section has three parts. Roadrunner, which is a software. Open drive, which is a protocol. And Koala, which is a simulator. Roadrunner. Roadrunner is an attractive editor that lets you design 3D seconds for simulating and testing automated driving system. You can automize roadway seconds by creating region-specific road signs and markings. You can insert signs, signals, guardrails, and road damage, as well as foliage, buildings, and another 3D models. Roadrunner provides tools for setting and configuring traffic signals, timing, phase, and vehicle pass at the intersections. Roadrunner supports the visualization of LiDAR point cloud, aerial imagery, and GIS data. You can import and export road network using Open Drive. The Aerial Imagery tool manages the import and configuration of aerial imagery files. Roadrunner can import geolocated aerial imagery for use as a visual surface and for texture mapping onto surfaces. Geolocated imagery file can be imported throughout a variety of common formats files, common formats such as GeoTIFF and JPG2000, which contain the necessary map projection information to accurately position them on, on the Earth's surface. ASAM Open Drive. ASAM Open Drive define a file format for the precise analytical description of the road networks. Unlike other files formats typically used for navigation systems, ASAM Open Drives mainly used in the area simulation application which require exact road geometry description, including, sur including surface properties, markings, signposting and look and uh, logical properties such as lane types lane types and directions road data may be mainly created from road network editors conventions convention of maps data or originated or originate from converting scans of aerial world roads 
the Open Drive Files format provides the following features. XML format, hierarchical structure, analytical definition of road geometry, various type of lanes, junctions and junction groups, logical interconnection of lanes, sign of signals, sign of controllers, road surface properties, road and roadside objects. After trying a couple of software, I find out that I must use open drive format files to define my desired roads on the simulators, especially actual ones. HD maps. Another solution for running an autonomous car in a real world is to use HD maps. HD maps are digital maps especially designed for self-driving vehicles. These maps are highly precise digital replicates down to millimeter of the environment where vehicle involved. These maps are made from the data sent from cars in the world. These cars include many sensors such as cameras, lidars, GPS, and IMUs, object detectors, distance sensors, etc. The data from these companies are selling to the HD map servers via internet. The server side software collect this information for various cars from various cars and update map data, then send real time layer map to the cars and robots who need those data. Companies are selling HD map data. But right now, it's not vital for my simulation purpose. So I decide to use Roadrunner software and GIS map to create the desired open drive format files and use them for my simulation. Then I can use these files for simulation self-driving cars in the Carla simulator. The main feature of Kala Simulator is stability via a server, multi-client architecture, flexible API, autonomous driving sensor suit, fast simulation for planning and control, maps generation, traffic scenario simulation, ROS, ROS integration, autonomous driving baselines. So, by using Kala, I can create and import my own city map, which my purpose is to create and import a map of Montreal city by using GIS map of city and Roadrunner software. This map can contain mainly many useful objects for simulating self-driving with real conditions such as traffic lights and signs human walking in the streets, roadblocks, and roadblocks on the streets, and more.
Currently, I am programming and developing a GUI for Kala. I programmed a GUI with Python for Kala to generate traffic flow in the CD and control it. I am currently working on pedestrian control and car simulation side of GUI to make a real CD map of Montreal. I need to purchase Roadrunner license. Also, I need some GIS data and file with the format of, of raster data, such as GEOTIFF and JPEG 2000 and formats of LiDAR data such as LAZ and LAS. Thank you. 